And it's a line drive to Key Lime Margarita. Yeah. What are you doing? Just watch. Whoa. Hi. Go for it. Thanks. What about me? Got you covered. Hey. Wow. Hey. 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 Lefty O'Doul's drink mixes at these fine stores. What are you doing? I'm getting the girl back. With a live audience at the Gold Dust Lounge at Fisherman's Wharf, it's the Will and Willie Show, brought to you by Lefty O'Doul's Drink Mixes, your bartender in a bottle, available at Safeways, Lucky's, BevMo, and stores near you. I said finer stores, and I got a ration of bleep from Will Durst. I'm Paul Wells. I'm Will Durst. And I'm Willie the Brown. And let me ask, is it uh, New Year's Eve Ration. when you come to Ration. Lucky O'Doul's? And bring the toy? Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Up until Christmas Eve. Yeah, right. New day. unwrapped toy. Yeah, you Christmas could bring them by Eve. any day. Till 6 in the morning what time on Christmas Day. Until what time at night on Christmas Eve? Until last call. Until last, last call, call on Christmas Eve. Last call on Christmas Eve. Because those elves are thirsty. 333 Geary, right off of Union Square. And there'll be people curbside till you don't even have to try to park. As a matter of fact, Who's Santa in the morning. Year? As a matter of fact, in the morning. If, if Durst you don't is going to be Santa. If you don't want to stop, just slow down. In the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> slow down. I told Pitch them it I got to be done. We got the catches all there. Yeah. Will, Will will be there in the morning in a Santa suit. Will, Will's going to be Santa, Lee Housekeeper yes, he says. Will. He should not. On Christmas Eve. I saw him 5,000 times Saturday. Oh, how was that? SantaCon? Did you see oh, yeah. SantaCon? Oh, yeah. I was, I, I was there the whole time. I mean, it was incredible. I saw that, that one picture in the Chronicle where there was a flat Santa next to the cop car, and he was passed out right next to it. It was a great shot. It was a great shot. It was a fun Saturday for our city. SantaCon? Uh, yes, yeah. yeah, SantaCon. Sant yeah. yeah, which one of these people is sober? Zero. How many SantaCon participants does it take to screw in a light bulb? You had SantaCon? None. They can't screw it in. They can't even get it in the socket. Protesters were, Protesters were one side, SantaCon was on the other, and I had to drive clear around to go Only take care of stuff. And, and the park. protesters were frightened out of their wits. <laughs> 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 now we know. Oakland cops are one thing. Yes. SantaCon, Santa 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 totally Santa. different. Uh -huh. <laughs> Will Durst, you have made a 2014 top stories list, and I always love your top 10 lists. Of here's, here's what I want to caution people. Um, the difference, big difference between the top 10 legitimate news stories of 2014 and the top 10 comedic news stories. I mean, obviously, you know, Ebola infested ISIS members flying Malaysian airliners into Bill Cosby torturing Kim Kardashian's butt are not going to be involved, <laughs> all right? This is, these, these are the stories that, that were funny. There was, a, there was a study by a German scientist that suggests that beer prevents prostate cancer. Yes, so I saw that. That that happened this year. So, so if have this fun is not a bar. Study. This is a clinic. Okay? <laughs> That's um, Winter Olympics in Sochi were number 9. The entire world is relieved when Vladimir Putin doesn't enter the triathlon, slap it on skis to shoot Ukrainian journalists shirtless. Okay? Uh, the, the ice bucket challenges uh, Toronto Mayor Rob Ford ran for re-election, but had to pull out. But he convinced his brother to run, which I thought was great. And this was, you know, Rob Ford is the guy who, who said that uh, he smoked crack during, and I quote, one of his drunken stupors. <laughs> that, that's a qualifier. Stupors, plural. Plural. But yeah. you know, they, they were upset with him because he wouldn't give up his source. <laughs> what number are we on? Uh, <laughs> uh, Pope Fran number six, Pope Francis says his religious theology is not in opposition to evolution. So he looks determined to drag the Catholic Church kicking and screaming into the latter half of the 19th century. <laughs> um, Alaska, Oregon, and D.C. joined Washington, Colorado, and the legal marijuana club, stock of Frito-Lay skyrockets. Uh, <laughs> Donald Sterling's racist statements result in a lifetime ban from the NBA, and many hope he lived to be 105. <laughs> forced to bunk with Cliven Bundy. Uh, uh, 
Of course, the midterm elections. Uh, Mitch ooh. McConnell uh, says he wants to work with I the president. Yeah, the same way a five-year-old with a magnifying glass wants to work with ants. <laughs> How long before General Motors is forced to recall Mitch McConnell is a faulty airbag? Um, <laughs> what number are we on now, Will? This is number two, Arizona debates. Senate Bill 1062, which would legalize bigotry race based on religious beliefs. The return of Jim Crow with a cactus beat. Wait, we'll add a drum roll. And number one, the Obamacare rollout, the president said it could have gone smoother. <laughs> you think? <laughs> An anvil study with titanium spikes could have rolled smoother. And those are the top ten. Will Durst, ladies and gentlemen. Of 24. Will and Willie show here at the Gold Dust. Now we have a Q&A. Anybody have a question? We have a microphone right here. We'd love to have you ask a question. So uh, think of one. I have Come a question. Up. Okay. Will uh -oh. Durst has what a question. What kind of suit is that? Who, who made, is yeah. that Keaton? What yeah. kind of clothes is the mayor I wearing is, today? Uh, I don't know, somebody. Yeah, yeah same thing. All right. Men's whorehouse, I mean warehouse. Yeah. yeah. Hey, but you got to understand, you see what the men's warehouse, not the men's warehouse, uh, Joseph A. Bank. I turned jo my television set on this morning and it says, you buy one and you get three free. <laughs> I keep I telling my, people. I call my son up and say, restock your store. <laughs> <laughs> Did you call Wilkes and ask him if he has the same deal? <laughs> buy one, you get buy three. one and you get three free. Who buys suits like that? Anyway. I feel like four suits. No, no. I, you know what I've done? I've got three friends I have to buy Christmas gifts for. <laughs> and they're so all, going in, and they're all 38 rigs. <laughs> no, I only have 38 rigs. They didn't say anything oh, about size. Uh, uh. <laughs> they said buy one, you get three free. <laughs> Yeah, what a 44 long. <laughs> <laughs> the shyest audience ever. Maybe I should go out in the crowd and ask questions. No, don't ask. Oh, God, me. no. No, don't go out there. Go out there. Don't, don't go it's out an there. ugly looking crowd, man. The further away you get from our the pop up studio in the back of Gold Dust, the more dangerous. You're at risk. Uh -huh. <laughs> we cannot yeah, guarantee uh, Paul Wells' safety if he goes out into the audience. Wait, a, I got the shirt for that. I'll go out on the street with it. I have a the question. That Jeff yeah, don't gave shoot. Us in the, yeah, in the first segment. Yeah. Hands up. Another question from Will Durst. I have a question. Uh -oh. Willie, what are you doing for New Year's? I'm going to stick around and, you know, yeah. do what you're doing. Party to party to party to party. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Every, where, well, funny you should every ask. Every free joint where, in the uh, city. Where do, <laughs> <laughs> he's he's yeah. following the Herb Kane trail. <laughs> There's Herb, Herb Kane, who can hear a free oyster you know, fall in the, the snow. All of these commercial establishments, you go online and they're all charging 250 300 It's incredible. Why For New would Year's? they do that? For New Year's? Yeah. yeah. Why would they do that? And I got to thinking. Maybe I should open a joint just for New Year's. Don't they call them pop-ups? Yeah. <laughs> have a pop-up bar? And Will Durst, what are you doing? Because you have a bunch of shows. Well, funny you should ask, year -end Paul Wells. <laughs> the Big Fat Year-End Kiss-Off Comedy Show starts, the 22nd annual, starts on December 26th, 2nd, 6th, tw December 26th in Livermore and goes to January 3rd, where we'll, we'll descend with our final show, which is in Alameda at the Rhythmics, but you can find out all about it. Livermore, Walnut Creek, Berkeley, And who's Nevada, playing the show with you? Martinez, I don't care. San Jose, <laughs> Debbie, Hill Valley. you're dust. Uh, actually, Debbie Durst, six comics, done. Debbie Durst, Johnny Steele. Yeah, one of the Michael three Bossier, still standing. Mari Magaloni, uh -huh. and uh, Arthur woman. Gauss. And it's stand-up sketch and uh, skits all based on the year. So we'll have a, a Bill Cosby sketch. And uh, yeah, we won't go there. Uh, but <laughs> we could. Go to wilders.com for more. I, I, I might have Speaking a question of, for Willie Brown about that. You see, where the LA district attorney said 1974, maybe we shouldn't go back that far. Today, they dropped 40 years. They're going to go back 40 years. It. They dropped the investigation. It's 40 years. Yeah. Now the the, the one Couldn't that's he argue most distant that is statute of limitations. 45 years. This, From this 69? One, yeah, this one, this one woman says, it's 1969. <laughs> Rated for inflation, did she only try to extort Wait, if you're going to ask a question, come up to the microphone. 
No, no long Ladies and gentlemen, radio. San Francisco. We can't hear your dang question. Public relations way, man, okay. yeah. Lee so, House. No, you're, you're not well. So you're if late. it was 40 years ago, 40 years ago, you only extorted him for 100,000. You know, 20 years ago, it was 250,000 that she wanted. That's what the AP reported. Well, that was. Uh, she maintains uh, that. Thank uh, you. You know, over the years, she can reduce her demand. <laughs> well, because of inflation. <laughs> yes. Is and there anybody the else uh, that possibly doesn't have something to do with rape so that, you know, we can do jokes about it? Uh, <laughs> maybe Ebola, you know, might be a little funnier. <laughs> yes, yeah, should I be afraid of it now? Should I? Oh, look, no, no, look no, for no. The but we do need to reference on this show the fact that we can now go to Cuba. Yes, yeah. that's President the news today, today when we today? recorded the show. Normalized relationship. Yes, and, and here's you a man. No. Wait. Oh yeah, he normalized relationships with yes. Cuba. And now Fidel, Fidel, did he make the announcement as long? No, as well no, as Obama? no, Raul. Raul, his Raul. brother. Raul and, and, and the Raul. president hmm. made the announcement. The president, president was on Obama. the air for an extended period of so time. So we don't have to go to Mexico City first? And pretend to go buy cigars in, in Cuba, no longer. Not anymore. And all I Bring on the Cubanos. Him, yeah, I just read the story about the guy who um, assisted the fellow who plays for the Dodgers. You know that? Yeah, yeah. Yasiel yeah, Puig. Yeah, and they're prosecuting this guy because they said this guy... He extorted money from Puig. He got no, two no, and a half million brought, dollars. He, he brought him in. Yeah, yeah, but he, he demanded money, money from his... Of course. From his, he, he, he charged yeah? him airfare. <laughs> <laughs> two and a half million dollars? <laughs> you know, it was a percentage of what you get for your contract. Five percent of his contract? Whatever his contract was, is what he's got. And now this guy's wow. facing, obviously, ten years. Well, if now we have said it's okay for that cat to come over on his own, wow. why are we putting this cat in jail for bringing him over at, at a quarter of a, whatever? I mean, it's just awful. But Obama says it's all over. And I loved his closing line. His closing line was, if you've been doing the same thing over and over for the last 50 years. And it doesn't work. And it hasn't worked. All I can say is, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Did you read the article by Ryan in the New York Times that, that just went on and on about how Obama has never gotten any respect from day one from the Republicans. It's not about not working with them. No, but they not had a meeting, even, didn't they? Not even when the legitimacy of the office. Yeah, but you understand that they said at the outset, our goal in life is to stop Obama. But that's Period. been their goal every Democratic uh, president. No, 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 not no, that. No, FDR, FDR, not they that. went after FDR. Uh, who was the next one? Truman, they couldn't because it was wartime. But they went not, after JFK. But not they didn't not go Obama. after Johnson well, they got because JFK. they couldn't. Because Johnson not. knew where all of their pubic Bodies hairs were, were buried. Right. Yeah, uh -huh. that's right. But they went after <laughs> after uh, Jimmy Carter the same way and they destroyed him. They went after Clinton the same way. They've gone after and everybody the same well, way. They were really not as much as Obama because they, they didn't have... They were Obama. And I loved, uh, I loved it when Obama... I kept thinking, when Kennedy was alive, Jack Kennedy, uh, his press secretary, Pierre Salinger, uh, had some kind of relationship with somebody in Cuba, and whoever it was sent him 200 Cuban cigars. And President Kennedy said, I am going to destroy all 200 of those cigars. One, One at a time. <laughs> <laughs> well, Willie Brown, ladies and gentlemen. Will Durst. I want to point out, and as we kiss uh, 2014 goodbye, goodbye the Bay Guardian, San Francisco Bay Guardian, which named uh, the Will and Willie show, Keeping It Real with Will and Willie, best Herb Kane column on the radio when we were doing mornings five days a week. What is, what is the, the Bay Guardian, Grandpa? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be like that. What's a newspaper? <laughs> Where was the world before the Internet saved it? Great show. Let's do another Yes, one. so I Let's want to thank all the thanks and roll the credits here. Thanks to Nick Bovis and his family and the Gold Dust Gra Lounge crew. Please tip generously our AV crew today. Ace and Hugh from realitycheckTV.com. Rex Rundgren, who's 
helping out Flow Communications, and uh, our guests, San Francisco Public Defender Jeff Adachi and Russ Stanley of the world champion San Francisco Giants for representing the team and their support for the Lefty O'Doul's Foundation, the annual Christmas Eve toy drive. Please drop by Lefty's at 333 Geary with a new unwrapped toy. You can redo, start it again. Thank you all for joining us here at the Gold Dust today. And all TV and radio archives of the program are available 24-7 at willandwilly.com, A-N-D, no ampersand on the internet. For Will Durst and Willie Brown, I'm Paul Wells. Wishing you a wonderful holiday season and a very happy and healthy 2015. Time to strike the set and call it a wrap. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Happy Hanukkah, joyous Kwanzaa, and to all my Druid friends, uh -huh. hug a tree. Yeah, it's the solstice. <laughs> <laughs>